Hey everyone, I'm Jaden. I'm here with David Lane to ask him about what's new in the athletic department. So how long have you been with the program? The program, uh, really I've been, as far as in the athletic role, I've been here, this is my third season as athletic director. Uh, prior to that, I spent about seven years as a baseball coach, either as an assistant or a head coach. So it's, it's good to be back in athletics again. Is there any major changes since you took over the program three years ago? Yes, there have been tons of changes. <laughs> I mean, if folks come into the gym, we have a new uh, Jumbotron that we can use for advertisements. We can put player graphics. We can do all sorts of things, hype videos. Um, the gym has been renovated. We hosted the uh, conference tournament last year uh, for basketball, so we've got new facilities as far as upgrades and things over at the baseball and softball complex uh, with our indoor facility. So that's that's a huge thing. We never have to have a day off. You know, you don't get rained out, you don't get snowed out. So, uh, and then we're looking at doing some, you know, continuing to grow the athletic department. So there'll be a lot of additional changes coming too. So, is there any new upcoming programs we should be watching for? One of the primary one, primary sports that we're going to be adding is women's soccer. That's going to be uh, beginning in the fall of 24. We'll begin competition then. Uh, we've named a new coach and also an assistant coach, so we're already starting that recruiting process. Uh, so that way we're have, we'll have everybody ready to go. We'll be able to sign letters of intent starting in November on November 1. And uh, so we're looking forward to adding women's soccer. And isn't it true that students get in free to all the games? Yes, absolutely. All the home games? Mm -hmm. Students get in free, so you know it's you know it's part of that college environment. You know, a lot of people think, oh, it's junior college, and you know it's, it's not that important. Come to some of these contests, see the passion, the energy. You'll find out how important it, it really is. So, what was it like when the basketball team, the men's basketball team, won back-to-back -back titles the past two years? That was incredible, mm -hmm. absolutely incredible. And it's one of those things where you look at it again, as far as you know. You think it doesn't matter or it's just, no, when our coaches and our players, this is, this is their major league at this point in life. It doesn't matter where you are, that wherever you are at that moment in time, that is the most important job in the country, maybe the world. And so to see them go on the road at Dyersburg two years ago, uh, win that one um, in overtime, yeah. and then come back home and actually have to face the same team that they defeated the year before and just the energy and the crowds that would come in I mean it was it's an incredible experience but you get to see that process you know that starts on day one and watch that come to fruition and show up on a national level and that's what we're really trying to work for Dr. Whaley, uh, Vice President Matthews, all of those people our, our facility you know, with David Webb and all the guys in the, in the maintenance group, all of that works together to make this happen. We can't do it without them. So they're very supportive and you get to see how all that comes together at the very end and put us on a national level, which is where we want Rome State to be. What's your favorite part of the student athletic program? My favorite part is our student athletes. The, when I was coaching, you know, I had, I was able to interact with 30 baseball players, um, which was great. But now, you know, we have close to 160 student athletes. Uh, we're the largest in, in the conference, which is the entire state of Tennessee. So I get to have interaction with them. Also with our coaches, our coaches are incredible. And I don't say that because I'm here and they're here, but they all care about their student athletes. They're hard on them, they push them, they expect them to perform in the classroom. And so it's just that, you know, that symbiotic relationship that we have working. They come to me, I go to them, and we're interacting with the players. And so it's just seeing that, watching them develop and become successful and fighting through adversity and all those life lessons that they get to learn. Absolutely. Thanks for talking with me today. It's my pleasure. Thank you.